Okay, so here we go. We've got a question on uh, logs and indices. There we go. We've got to uh, solve the equation 2 to the power 2x plus 2. Take away 10 times 2 to the power x uh, plus 4 equals 0. Okay, so the first thing that we can notice is that uh, we have uh, an equation in terms of 2 to the power x. And if I notice that, I can rewrite it. Uh, in this form here, so 2 times 2 times 2 to the power 2x, take away 10 lots of 2x, uh, 2 to the power x plus 4 equals 0. Okay, uh, the reason that I do that is because I can now notice that um, I can rewrite this in terms of u, so I can say that u is equal to 2x, well, and therefore u squared is going to be 2 to the power x squared, which if I remember my laws of indices is going to be 2 to the 2x. Okay, so that's going to give me uh, exactly what I wanted here. Okay, so 2 times 2 gives me 4, so that's 4u squared. Take away 10 lots of u plus 4. Okay, um, and basically once I've got that sorted, um, I can simply use the, the quadratic formula, which hopefully you're all confident with um, you know so basically minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a basically put the values in um, and basically you should end up um, at the end um, with uh, 2x um, equals a half and therefore x will equal minus 1. Okay, so all we need to remember when we're solving this, this quadratic is that the value that we get for u, we have to remember that that actually is 2 to the power x, and then we have to then convert it to find out what x equals. Okay, so anyway, there we go, that's the first, first question to look at. Uh, second question is... Again, we're using the, like, the laws of logs for this one. Um, the first thing that we've noticed is that we've got uh, this base to this power gives me this number here. So I can rewrite that as x plus 1 squared equal to y. And I've also got uh, y plus 1 to the power of a quarter equals to x. Okay, so I've now got two different equations. I've got two unknowns, so basically simultaneous equations. Um, there's equation 1, and there is equation 2. So if I rearrange equation 2, so if I um, do the power of 4 to both sides, I'm going to get y plus 1 equals x to the power of 4, and therefore y is going to be x to the power of 4 minus 1. Okay, and basically I can then put this this equation here, so let's call that equation 3. I can basically equate that to equation 1. So I've now got x plus 1 squared is the same as x to the 4 minus 1. Okay, um, that's a couple of ways of solving it, but probably uh, the easiest way to do is to use your graphics calculator. If you plot the two graphs, y equals x plus 1 squared and you also plot the graph y equals x to the 4 minus 1 uh, and then find the intersection find the intersection between those two lines uh, that will give you uh, the solution and the solution is x equals 1.7 and y equals 7.27 and um, again, if you're not entirely sure on how to use your graphics calculator, uh, well, maybe, maybe ask your teacher on that one. Uh, it's certainly a useful technique. Okay, so that's the second question. Uh, third question. Uh, given that uh, 4 ln 2 minus 3 ln 4 equals minus ln k, find the value of k. Yeah, this is uh, basically just testing that we can rearrange logs. So let's rearrange... Um, 
Well, let's say we've got 4 ln 2 here, and we've got minus 3 ln, and let's write that as 2 to the power 2, because obviously 4 is the same as 2 to the power 2, equals minus ln k. Uh, now I've both got these in both terms in ln 2, well, I can then bring this power down here, so I get 4 ln 2 minus 6 ln 2 equals minus ln k. Well, now that's just going to simplify to give me minus 2 ln 2 is equal to minus ln k. And again, if I bring this up here, I'm going to get minus ln 2 2 equals minus ln of k. And therefore, k must be k must equal be 4 because 2 to the power 2 is 4. Okay, that's uh, a quick question. Then let's look at one last question. Uh, solve the equation um, as stated there. Okay, so let's. Uh, Let's rearrange this first. So we've got log 3x plus 17 minus log 3 2x is equal to 2. I then use the laws of logs where if I take away when the base is the same, it's the same as dividing. So that's the same as log 3x plus 17 all over 2x is equal to 2. Um, I then use the fact that I can rearrange this, this is saying that 3 to the power 2 is equal to this thing here, so therefore that must give me x plus 17 over 2x is equal to uh, 3 squared, which is 9. And uh, from here I can basically just rearrange that, so if I, if I rearrange that I'm going to get x plus 17 equals 9 lots of 2x. So that's going to be 18x. If I rearrange that, I'll end up eventually with 17 equals 17x and x equals 1. And there we go.